Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In yet another test, DRDO has successfully performed the flight trial of solid fuel ducted ramjet SFDR technology from a defense facility from integrated test range Chandipur today around 10.30 am. Test successfully demonstrated reliable functioning of all critical components involved in the complex missile system and met all the mission objectives. Back in December 2021, DRDO has also performed similar test of SFDR technology from a defense facility of the Odisha coast. The SFDR has three phase propulsion which will power the future PVR air to missiles which includes initial boost phase, mid course phase and end game phase. SFDR based propulsion enables missile to intercept aerial threats at very long range at supersonic speeds. It will be used in developing very long range air to missile with range more than 150 km to 300 km. You all would have heard of MBDS Meteor Missile. It is the world's best air to missile at present in beyond visual range. In terms of launch success and no scape zone, they are 200% better than US AMRA missile. Yes, the same AMRA missile which was fired by Pakistani F-16 on MiG-21 in an air skirmish post Balakot strike. The Meteor missile is also being used by the America's 5th generation fighter F-35. The technology that makes the Meteor missile so capable is the SFDR. It allows missile to cruise at a speed over Mach 4 and provide the missile with thrust and mid-course acceleration. The rampant motor provides missile with thrust all the way to the target intercept, providing the largest no escape zone compared to any other air to air missile. The SFDR is an advanced technology than ramjet and it's a game changer for BVR missile. It uses air breathing ramjet engine which can vary thrust according to the requirement increasing the hit probability. This technology will be used in the beyond visual range air to missile with a range greater than 150 kilometers. The solid fuel ducted ramjet is a missile propulsion system that includes a thrust modulated ducted rocket with a reduced smoke nozzle-less missile booster. The thrust modulation in the system is achieved using a hot gas flow controller. The system utilizes a solid fueled air breathing ramjet engine. This kind of propulsion system drastically enhances the range with higher average speed. The missile which uses the system are also able to carry larger payload due to the absence of an oxidizer. Unlike solid propellant rocket, the ramjet takes up oxygen from the atmosphere during the flight. Talking about DRDO's SFDR technology, in its current form, it first required to be boosted to a high altitude trajectory to simulate aircraft launch conditions. Subsequently, the nozzle is booster fires up and guides the missile through its desired trajectory. Now we all know about the indigenous Astra air-to-air missile. The Astra rides on a smokeless solid fuel rocket motor and has a maximum range of 110 km. And yes, we are talking about Astra Mark 1. However, Astra Mark 2 and Mark 3, which are going to have range close to 160 and 340 km respectively, will be powered by this SFDR technology. The development of SFDR is a $70 million joint project which has started from 2013 onwards between India and Russia. SFDR takes every performance aspect of the Astra to the next level, crucial range, sustained speed and kinetic energy during the difficult end game phase when the missile is close to the normal maneuvering targets. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. 
we'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector